If you're lucky enough to have a helium miner right now, or even more than one miner, I'm sure you're concerned about getting the most HNT out of it. There are several options for increasing the potential earnings of a miner, but some are proving better than others, and much easier to install. Rather than installing your miner outdoors and risking it being damaged in the elements, an antenna cable extension may be the better option. Rack Wireless now sells a bundle with all the parts you need and it is capable with all helium miners. Let's take a look at the details. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Crypto Compound channel. In today's video, we will discuss some options for getting the most out of your miner as more miners have been put online and helium becomes more and more popular. People are getting more creative and trying to find out how to squeeze the most out of every miner that they have. If they're lucky enough to have one, that is. My miners are not even here yet. But if you do have one, if you have two, if you have ten, you're, I'm sure you're thinking about getting the most out of your miner. In this video, we are going to talk about what I would say at this point is the best way of doing that. Because there are ways of significantly increasing the earnings power of your miner or miners now. More recently, there have been some companies like Rack Wireless here who have created outdoor enclosures for indoor miners. Now, we know that Nebra did sell a, while they were accepting orders, they did sell an outdoor miner that was delivered and, was, and does work, but it's not for sale any longer. More recently, Rack has created an outdoor enclosure for indoor gateways. Now, there has been concern, has been a lot of concern recently, as explained in this Bobcat Miner blog post, and they're calling it sun burning your miner could be fatal. What this is saying is putting the indoor miners in these boxes. These indoor miners were designed and created to be indoors. So they're not subject to outdoor temperatures, to being beaten by the sun. And by putting them in these outdoor enclosures, you could be risking your miner. It could fry the miner, could heat the internal components too high, and it could render your miner useless. Now, I totally understand that, and that does make sense. So that is a warning for anyone interested in these if you have a shaded area maybe that's better or if you live in a cooler climate maybe that is better but just take that into account you could risk run the risk of making the miner too hot because again these are the those enclosures are built for the indoor miner and of course this applies if you're do a do-it-yourself person and you're putting it outside yourself somehow now i think the better alternative to these to this, these outdoor enclosures is absolutely putting your miner indoors, keeping it indoors where it's supposed to be, where the temperature is controlled, where there is no humid, excessive humidity or precipitation, and purchasing a one of these bundles. Now, in the beginning, months ago, in the beginning of the network, it was very complicated as to how to what cable to buy, what antenna to buy, what mounts to buy, what would work and what's compatible with a helium miner. However, Rack Wireless has really, look at all these, there's tons of new products here that are all, this is specific all to helium. They're all compatible with the helium Rack Hotspot Miner and a lot of these cables and antennas are compatible with all of the other miners. They all have the same connection right here that is the same on every miner that is sold. Now, if we go to, just to, just to show you, so, to, so everyone can understand, if we go to the rack miner that is sold by rack and we go to the data sheet, I will put all the links to these down below in the description, uh, but if we go to this data sheet and we go down and we go down, now if we come here and we scroll down, we'll come to this page and we'll click on it. And if we zoom in, we will see that this right here, this connection for the antenna is a RPSMA female connector. This is on the rack miner and that is the same exact connection that is on all of the miners, whether it's Bobcat, Nebra, all the other ones. So this tells us explicitly RPSMA female connector is the connection coming out of the, of the miners, right? Now, if we go back here, I would recommend, which this is what I'm gonna do when I get my miner, I'm going to get a bundle because it comes with all of the mounting and all of the all of the hardware needed. So I'm just going to buy a bundle. I'm not going to buy things independently. So you could buy adapters here. You could buy mounts separately. You could buy uh, you could buy everything almost separately. Antenna clips that those might be useful depending on your 
application. But if we click on this bundle here, we can see this could get confusing because there's three different bundles. Now I've already reviewed this. And if you have one miner, uh, obviously if you have two miners, this is great. There are two antennas here, but if you have one miner, bundle number two has just one antenna, you would go here. Uh, obviously they have two connection types. We know that based on what we looked at right here, we know that the racks have an RP SMA female connector. So if we go back here, we would select, make sure you select the kept connection type RP SMA, and you'll see that it updates the image of the cable to what it looks like at the end, looks like at the end of the miner, the connection to the miner. And you would of course select the correct frequency with your miner. Um, of course, this is considering this is considering that you're okay with the 8dBi. I believe they have another bundle. I believe they have a yeah, they have a 5.3 fiberglass antenna dBi bundle or the 8dBi bundle. So depending on which one, you would select bundle two, uh, or whichever bundle is is the amount of antennas that you need. You would go. You have to make sure that you select the RP SMA connection. This is the connection for the miner. I do not know what this is or why it's here. I don't believe any miners have that connection. I don't know why it's on the helium bundle, uh, helium accessory page. Make sure the RP SMA is the one you are selecting. You would select your frequency. They have a frequency map guide right here just to make sure you're ordering the correct one. And this now, sorry, this now has everything that you need. So you would connect one of the ends of the cable. Now, remember, we're keeping the miner indoors, connecting one end to the miner. The other end is going all the way to the uh, antenna, and this has everything you need. It has a, this is a mount here for the antenna. This is, uh, these are, uh, these are brackets if you need them for the antenna. So it has everything you need here. And I believe that the cable, because a lot of people in the beginning were concerned about cable loss, I believe the cable loss is very insignificant as long as the antenna, the, the uh, cable length is not excessive. I do not believe that these cables are too long where they will impact the power significantly. Of course, the main concern here is the DBI, depending on where you live. If you're in a city, you might want a lower DBI antenna. If you're on, a, if you're in more rural area that's flat with not much obstruction, you're going to want a higher DBI antenna. So this is very important. It will seriously increase your earnings. Even if you do have a cable that puts it outside, there will be much less obstruction. I do, and and remember, your intent, your miner is still inside, which is the key thing here. It is protected. It is safe. You don't run the risk of let's air quotes sunburning your miner. As you can see here, there's documentation for the antenna base, the the fiberglass antennas, and these bundles here explain explicitly what is in each of these bundles. There is more data here. As you can see here, they do outline here, connection found on your commercial developer, gateways, rack, hotspot, miner, and helium hotspot. That is the SP SMA, that is what we want. So guys, let me know your thoughts on this. Have you guys used these bundles? These bundles clearly make it a lot easier to understand what parts you need for your miner. Let me know if you have them. Let me know what you think about putting them outside. If you have any, uh, if you've heard any success stories of putting them outside or any bad stories, let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please play, please make sure to like the video, subscribe. That's all I ask. It'd be really, it really helps the channel and the YouTube algorithm. We would really appreciate it. And it'll keep you updated on more useful analysis and updates on the Helium Network on HNT. But just like that, this video is over. I will see you guys next time.